name is Aditya Ram. I have been working as a volunteer at the Shanti Ashram since 2019. My latest affair of volunteering work was going to the PS3 college to do an eye checkup. There were 50, we had a very thorough eye checkup. There were 56 children who came in and 6 children came out with glasses. 12%. The process was thorough as I said before. The child would have come in, they would have first gone to the first station or checkup, they would have taken their name, height, age and weight. Then they would have gone to the second checkup, a very brief and short checkup. There would have been a board and there would have been around three meters away a chair. That the child would have sat on that chair and read the letters. So there was one big letter at the top and it got smaller to the bottom. So it got to a very small letter. He would have read A, B, C as far as he could and when he couldn't have, he would have stopped. However, they were not in alphabetical order. Then he would have covered one eye and read it and covered the other eye and read it. Then he would have gone to the next station, the long sighted checkup. However, same process, covering one eye, covering the second eye, and doing it with no eyes. Uh, different letters, and also, more crucially, different lengths between the, between the board and the chair. Then finally, uh, and finally, the last station on the eye, the lens checkup, or I could say, where they checked how they, you would do wood glasses. This was a checkup where they, you would have worn a glass, who had different glasses on, they would have checked the glasses and different lenses and asked you questions like can you see this board, same board as before, with alphabet, alpha, alphabet on, and said can you see it with your naked eye? Yes. Can now, you, um, were you wearing this lens? Is it easier to see with this with lens on? And if the child said yes, then you knew there was some possibility of glasses. Then finally, and, gone, and probably the most crucial pl place, he would have gone to the doctor. The doctor first, and very importantly, would have checked the eye to check for car crash, which is a disease which can form on your eye. Then would have looked at a notepad. This notepad was very important because at the beginning, where you'd wrote in, written the name, the height, the weight, and the age, and what school you went to, it would have been all done on that notepad. Then that notepad would have gone to the first station, he'd have written the examples and the outcome of that first station, then same out examples and outcomes of the second station, and then examples and outcomes of the third station. Finally, as a doctor, the doctor would look at that notepad and give a prescription on which glasses you need and which lens you need depending on what's, what eye is stronger and what eye is not less stronger. You'd go on to the last station, the f and last and final station, where they would have done the fitting. The fitting was quite simple. They'd have measured from the eye all the way back to the back of the ear. You'd have first narrowed it down from what size you are, then brought from the sizes to the lens, and from the lens you'd have chosen around, there'd have been six or seven different colors. You'd have chosen one of those colors. Then from that, the child would have walked out. That's the process done. I had a process of going from each process, each station, and taking pictures of the whole process or the whole, all com the whole community working together. And I also took some notes and had a chat with some of the people at each process, like the nurses at station one, station two, and station three. I had quite a good chat with the doctor, and I learned how they fitted the glasses and how they had selected who needed what. Thank you, Shanti Ashram and ICPH, for giving me a wonderful experience of this.